Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you an article published by Inman in January of 2024 titled, 49% of agents sold either one home or none at all in 2023. Now, I know the title can be rather discouraging, especially if you're a new agent or you are an agent who's struggling to make money or if you're even just thinking about getting into real estate. And I want to assure you that after I go through my summary of this article with you, I will tell you exactly what to do to have a successful real estate career and not be part of this 49% that are selling one or no homes per year. So here we go. The vast majority of real estate agents sold five or fewer homes in the past year and about half sold either zero homes or only one, according to a new study from the Consumer Federation of America released on January 24, 2024. The report titled, A Surfeit of Real Estate Agents 3, Abundant Jobs, Inadequate Mentorship, and Few Sales, CFA highlights what it calls a glut of more than one and a half million agents nationwide selling between five and six million homes per year. Time out. I did the math. I figured five and a half million homes, since it was between five and six million, five and a half million divided by one and a half million agents is 3.7 homes per agent per year in 2023. This, the report goes on to say, results in most agents being inexperienced and contributing to widespread incompetence. Consumers don't benefit from the failure of companies to adequately train and oversee new agents. Stephen Brabach, the report's author, said, incompetent agents imposed costs on consumers ranging from missed sales opportunities to disadvantageous sales prices to problematic homes. CFA said the ease of obtaining a real estate license exacerbates the problem. Overall, the study included 2,000 agents in 20 major brokerages. Specifically, the study examined the annual number of home sales of 100 randomly selected agents working in five major brokerages in four urban areas, Central Pennsylvania, Orlando, Florida, Tucson, Arizona, and Minneapolis, Minnesota. The research was conducted in October and November of 2023. According to the data, 49% of agents in those four areas sold either zero homes or only one home in 2023. And 70% of agents sold five or fewer homes. The median number of sales was two. And 37% of agents didn't sell a single home, Brabach told Inman. There is no other financial services industry or profession where part-time marginal workers are so widespread. According to Brabach, of the 2,000 agents in his sample, only 20 agents had 50 sales or more. And of that number, only seven had 100 sales or more. The report stresses that major brokerages continue to recruit new agents indiscriminately despite the oversupply due to high agent turnover so they can tap into the new agents' networks for clients and to benefit from the monthly fees that new agents pay that range from $50 to $400 per month. According to the report, because agents are independent contractors and brokerages therefore have limited liability for their conduct, the firms often fail to offer effective training, mentorship, 
and supervision. CFA reports suggested improve industry standards. We obviously need that. And consumer awareness when selecting agents in order to address the problem. The report highlighted that class action litigation will likely lead to heightened consumer awareness of the industry practices and more informed selection of agents. The residential real estate industry needs to set a higher standards for training and overseeing new agents, CFA added. These standards would increase agent competence, help ensure a smoother sales process, and enhance the reputation of the industry as well as benefiting consumers. Those are the highlights that I chose. If you want to read the full article, just Google the title and it'll come up for you. So, you are a new agent or you're struggling in your career or thinking about getting a real estate license, what should you do? I wrote down a few things. Number one, there are a lot of part-time real estate agents out there, but being part-time in and of itself doesn't mean you won't succeed. I started as a part-time real estate agent and I had a very successful real estate career, so it's doable. Also, I wanna say that as stated, in the article, getting a real estate license is easy and inexpensive, but maintaining a real estate license, paying monthly brokerage fees, MLS fees if you choose to join the MLS or your local associate board, uh, board of realtors, it costs money. And imagine, 37% of real estate agents didn't sell a single home. So what's the point of having a license? So you got some decisions to make here. Or even if you sell one home a year, what is that gonna do? Barely pay for your, your expenses or, or maybe not even depending on what your average commission is. So if you wanna be a part of the 1% of agents who sold five or more homes a year, the most important decision that you have to make and the quicker you make it, the better off you are, is whose advice you're going to listen to. There are too many brokers, managers, trainers, coaches, other agents telling you to do stuff, activities, whatever, that may sound easy to do, but really if you stop and think about it and use your common sense, you realize that it's really, it's not gonna produce the results that you expect. I couldn't imagine anyone getting into real estate to not sell any homes. I mean, you, 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 got, you have a goal. Or if you, if you I, I actually, as I say that, uh, some of you may know, or maybe not, I got into real estate because I was selling my house as a FISBO and it wasn't selling. So I thought, okay, well, I'll go get a real estate license so I can list my own house. That was my reason for doing it. However, if my reason hadn't changed because within the first few months I realized, wow, I, I, I hit the lottery with this real estate license and I'm gonna, I'm gonna work hard to be one of the best agents in my market. I decided that after, uh, a few months after, right? But if I had just like done what I, intended, which was just list my own house and sell it, I wouldn't have kept renewing my real estate license. Okay, get a license, sell my house, and then get out of real estate, okay? If you're watching this video, I imagine you're not in this category of like sell one house and let your license expire, okay? You're here because you have the intention of actually selling more homes and making money and having you know, time for yourself in the process, right? If you talk to enough agents and use your common sense, you'll realize the problems with some of the so-called seem easy activities that people tell you to do. Like, you know, just call the people you know. Okay, great, I I'm all in favor of that. Sure, call the people you know, let them know you're in real estate and see if anybody wants to buy or sell or, or know somebody that they can refer to you. But that's a limited number of people. And 
maybe you'll find one or two transactions when you call them, but what do you do after that? What, okay, so I got a couple of referrals, I sold a couple of homes. Uh, you call them again the next month and what's going to change? I mean, you call them periodically, but you're going to have to get beyond that. And then, I don't know, brokers, managers, other agents, oh, just go do open houses. Well, I don't have any listings to hold open. Don't worry, you can hold my listings open. You know, go do an open house for me. Uh, okay, what is that going to get you most likely? If any, there will be buyers, the majority, and it's not going to even going to be that many, and you're going to do open houses and nobody's going to show up. So do you really want to work with buyers? Maybe you have to work with some buyers and waste a lot of your time before you realize uh, this is not how I want to how I want to do this. I want to focus on the listing side of real estate, which everybody knows is how you have a successful career and don't work seven days a week, 60 hours a week. Okay, so all of this may sound easy. You know, I'll just go hold an open house, you know, go show houses to buyers. Is this like a long-term thing that you can maintain and have consistent income? No, not really. And I want you to remember, nothing wrong with wanting what's easy. I want what's easy too. I want to be fit and healthy without having to work out every day and eat healthy food. I prefer to eat junk food and just sit on the beach instead of going to the gym. But there are no shortcuts to any place worth going. No matter what we're talking about, it's going to require hard work. And what I'm saying to you right now may not be the most popular choice for you, but if you stop, think, and use your common sense, you will know that what you really need to do is you need to learn how to communicate. Because you to sell real estate, you got to talk to people. It's a, it's a sales job that requires communication. And the more effectively, the better you communicate, the more money you make. Common sense, yes? Even if you were to work with buyers, which I don't teach my clients to do that, but even if you did, you, you need to learn how to communicate effectively. That's the business you're in. Oh, but that's hard. And you got to talk to people you don't know. Oh, that's even harder. I don't want to do that. Okay, so go do the easy stuff. And after a while, when you get really discouraged and you realize it's not working, then you can come to my channel and join my training or learn from the videos here and Go do what is actually going to work and it's going to give you a consistently profitable real estate career, okay? You, you've got a choice. But the truth is, and you know this, whether you want to hear it or not, there are no shortcuts to any place worth going. Then I wrote this down. If you choose the path of least resistance, the easy way, chances are you'll end up like the 99 percent of agents that the probability is that you'll end up like most other agents and you'll end up as a casualty of the real estate industry and sadly and you probably don't care about that you will be adding to the bad reputation that the industry has and rightfully so because of all the part-timers that are incompetent out there and the companies that fail to train and supervise these agents it's like it's it's a big problem okay it's not just one like you know one person is responsible for this it's just an industry issue so you know what what I teach may not be popular or easy, but failing isn't easy either, is it? I actually wrote that down, so I had to tell you. Um, so what is it that I teach agents? I teach them to speak with people that they don't know because there are way more people you don't know on in your market than just the people you know. So you, you to sell a lot of houses, you got to talk to people you don't know. And I teach agents how to communicate effectively and how to have a powerful mental state where you feel unstoppable. That's what I teach agents. And I'll say this to you because it's my, it's, it's my way of doing business always. Remember this, under promise and over deliver. 
Be truthful, be genuine, authentic with people. Work on yourself so you can provide value to your prospects and your clients because people pay for value. Don't be mediocre. You're not going to get paid consistently for being mediocre. You may get a deal here and there, but when you when you provide a lot of value because you work on yourself to be knowledgeable, to be experienced, to be a true professional, when, that's the stuff I teach. Yeah? Like I said, it, it, it's really not that hard, but it's, it's a lot easier than actually failing. And when you under promise and over deliver, everybody wins. You win, your clients win, and everybody involved wins. So I want to leave you with this. If you have any comments, by the way, questions on the video, make sure you post them in the comments below. You're going to find in the description of this video a link to download my new script book for free. And that's going to be a huge part of you being a successful real estate agent. you got to learn what to say. And my script book will have all of the scripts that you need to succeed as a listing agent. So you know what you're supposed to do. You know what you're not supposed to do. Make sure you think this through. Make the right choice. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you on the next one.